Hello again and welcome back to the card mart. Right, that invisible transfer, how is it done? Well, as I say, well, it is um, based on a classic trick. You all know the one where you have 10 cards and 13 and 3 to 7 and something like that. But this is just a little twist on it. And all you need is 7 cards. And then all you need is another of them, 7 cards. So basically... Seven sets of pairs, right? They don't have to be in order. Doesn't matter. You'd also need a nice little box. Yeah, you might have seen Jack Academy doing this one. This one where you just have it. I haven't bothered sticking mine down with the elastic. Just a piece of card that goes in. Notice two backs. Yeah. And a piece of card that goes in, so that it looks like the box is open that way. When you turn that way, it looks like the box is open that way. And six indifferent cards. You load your six indifferent cards into your box, facing down on top of that flap, and then just turn it over so that they are now facing up underneath that flap, if you see what I mean. And you can have your box on the table. Um, take one of your seven and put it to the bottom and put the other six of them onto the top and then put the other full block of seven on the top of the eight, right? That's your setup. Now, you can start off with false cuts and false shuffles as long as you don't disturb the top 13 cards or that bottom card, right? Choice is yours, how do you do that? And then when you come to the trick, just hold it as if you're going to be doing a, like a ham and count. So you're holding it like fiddly grip type thing, whatever, and you're just going to pull off the top seven cards, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, then you'll show you've got seven by counting them, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, you can then give them a shuffle, just in case they think you've got them in a set order after you've just gone and shuffled and cut the packet, they can then pick any card that they want to, at this point you can do, um, um, a, like a better effect I'll run through it quick at the end if I remember they pick out a card they look at the card they remember the card nine of hearts it goes back into the packet the packet can get shuffled up again you'll then take these and you'll put them into the box but then as you chain turn and you're swapping over you're just going to grab hold of it in your hand like that let it drop down and turn your hand over so that you've put them cards underneath and the ones which were underneath are now on top if you do it smoothly enough you might get away with it you then say you need six cards so you're going to get a pinky pull down on the bottom card and turn it into a thumb break peel off one card peel off two cards grip that bottom card as you take the third card so i've now got four cards but counted three four five and six so they just seen you taking six cards show them you've got six one, two, three, four, five. Put the double down as one card. Six. You then do whatever magic you want to do. And then you can go, look, I've now got seven cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Yeah. And then when the cards get tipped out of the box, and then you get counted, there's only one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now they can turn them over and they'll see that their card isn't there. Then you can turn these over and you'll find that their card is in there. Now, if you want to do it slightly different. No, hang on, does that slightly different way? No, that, that's slightly different, doesn't work, because you've got to get rid of one of them cards. I haven't thought on... It, it will do, but I haven't thought on exactly how to get around. One little problem with that. If I do get around it, I'll come back and show you. But there you go. This is how you do that one. Yeah. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you again soon. No, hang on, hang on. Come back. Come back. I just figured it. I have. I just figured what I was trying to think on when my brain went all a bit on... Yeah, when you've taken off the first seven cards and you've shuffled them, you can get them to look at them. 
I asked them to think of any card. This way they're going to see a lot of other cards. And hopefully they'll remember one or two of the, of the other cards that are in there. So say they think of the two of clubs, right? Then you take, you say you're taking six in different cards. And they go into the packet. And then you do your little turn over and put it down. And you go, right, now I'm going to get these six cards to swap places with all of them seven. And you go, hoo, 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 hoo. And then you can show that all of them seven cards are, in fact, there. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And when you tip these out of the box, like so, you'll see that none of them were any of them. If you assume so you just made six cards swap with seven cards, which could be a bit of a better ending, if you like. But anyway, there we go. I knew I'd get there in the end. Anyway, I'm, I'm gone now. So uh, I will see you again soon. But not as soon as this one was, <laughs> if you can see what I mean. Yeah, taking a rest.